This trail lasted almost a year. History knows this as the Nuremberg Trials. More than 20 supporters of the most terrible figure in the history of mankind, Adolf Hitler, were on the trail. Among them were commanders, ministers, officials of Nazi Germany, Herring Hess Ribbentrop. They were tried for unleashing and waging aggressive wars, killing and ill-treating civilians and prisoners of war, and aimlessly bombing cities. The International Court of Justice found them guilty. Some were sentenced to death, others were thrown in jail for life. Some countries declared neutrality, others helped with weapons. Others refused to help the victims of the Nazis, just not to irritate Hitler. Everyone paid thousands of life for it. The world came together only when the half of the world was in ruins. However, history repeats itself. 80 years later, killing of civilians again, aimless bombing of cities again, crimes against humanity again. This time, the Russian Federation is already declaring that it is fighting the Nazis. Putin, Shaikhu, Lavrov called the shelling of apartment building, the bombing of hospitals and schools a military operation. In a few days, Russia fired 100 missiles at Ukraine. Cluster bombs, no humanity. Bombing and shelling took the lives of 2,000 civilians. The world didn't unite at once. Some declared neutrality, others helped with weapons, but failed to repel or at least close the skies over Ukraine, just not to irritate Putin and nuclear terrorists. 40 countries have appealed to the Prosecutor General of the International Criminal Court to find and punish the person who ordered the waged war against Ukraine. Just like 80 years ago, no associational groups of people guarantee efficiency or cohesion. Is NATO's defense alliance ready to defense? Will the world allow impunity for the new Hitler? Will the world swallow brutal murders again, just not to irritate another inadequate dictator?